Hi, I'm Chris Ketke, and today we are going to use the side burner to make some mushrooms persillade, which is really a fancy French way of saying sauteed mushrooms. And then at the end of it, we're going to put in some parsley and some raw garlic, and I put in a little capers as well. So to make sauteed mushrooms, you need to have a really hot pan, and that's where this whole side burner comes in, because the saber has those two rings, and I can get this pan really smoking hot. It has to be very hot. In goes some olive oil. Then I'm going to go ahead and put in some butter. So I have some oil in here. Watch this. Put the butter in there. You can watch that butter. It's going to start to brown immediately. And then what I'm going to do is take, this is my sort of take on this, a little bit of chili flake into the butter. I'm just going to move that around for a couple seconds and then in goes my mushrooms. Did you see how fast that was? Because that pan was very, very hot. Now when you put those chili flakes in, you really got to get those mushrooms in like 30 seconds, 15 seconds right afterwards so they don't burn. Why the really hot pan? Because mushrooms are mostly water. And if you don't have a really hot pan, the mushrooms, they won't brown. Instead, they'll just sort of sit and get in sort of kind of gray color as they cook in their juices. Okay, while that's cooking, let's go ahead and take a couple of these beautiful steaks. I'm just going to season these with sort of a mixture of chili powder and black pepper. I'll put a little bit of salt on those. Flip those over. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And a little bit of salt. This is going to be great together. You have that, the steak and the mushrooms persillade. Ooh, it's going to be delicious. All right, that. These steaks, we're going to put them onto a really hot grill. Again, I want those char marks. And I personally like my steaks a little more on the rare side of things. So that goes onto the hot grill. Look, take a look at this. Look at how fast these mushrooms are cooking. Already, you can see the beautiful browning on those mushrooms. It feels like I'm cooking on a restaurant stove. I love it. All right, the steaks are going. I have the mushroom sauteing, so now we need to prepare the persillade, that parsley mixture. And persil is actually the word for parsley in French. That's where we get the name. So I have parsley leaves over here. I have a couple cloves of garlic. I'm just going to mince up the garlic. Get it nice and fine. And then I mix it together with the parsley and some capers. And to prepare the persillade, I'm just going to chop and mince this together until it's completely and finely minced up. Now to finish the mushroom dish. The mushrooms, as you can see, are beautifully browned. Again, really high heat and completely cooked through. And to finish the persillade, what we're going to do is take that parsley mixture with the garlic and with the capers. And what I do is I put it on the mushrooms right at the end of the cooking process because what I want to have is actually kind of the raw garlic flavor, that intensity with the mushrooms because that intensity together with the hardiness and the caramelization of those mushrooms is delicious. This is going to go perfectly with our steaks over here, again, that have that chili on the outside. It's going to make a really wonderful and satisfying dinner. For this recipe and for other recipes just like it, check out betterbarbecueblog.com.